So now that we have our style and we've used the Sweeper module and styled it the way we want, we want to be able to turn this module off. But we don't actually need to turn it off, we just want it to not necessarily show up anymore. So you can do that pretty easily by going to the Sweeper configuration page. So simply click on the configure page for Sweeper. And all you have to do is check this box next to Enable Sweeper Editor. And we'll go through these other settings real quick, but just keep in mind, you really don't need to change much to get the default working. So these are just simply very advanced configurations you can use. You can change uh, some of the different styles that are preloaded, some of the different images. I'm going to go ahead and click Save, so this will no longer show up. In the editor tab, you can select what shows up on what tab. So this is the font tab, this is the background tab. And so you can really get flexible with how you want it to be displayed. There are options where you can turn on advanced options, which would allow you to enter some of your own CSS code. So if you're more of an advanced designer, but you still don't want to actually get into the Drupal code yet, you can enter in some of your own CSS. You can enter in the ability to switch the theme. So this would allow you, if you had multiple Drupal Commerce themes and you wanted to configure completely different looking themes, you could do that with the Sweeper module as well. So a whole bunch of different things. Go ahead and play around with it or watch some of the other videos that we have on it, and you will soon be able to see how flexible it is with designing out your website.